Welcome back. Take a look with me at this map right here. And I'm going to show you this is highly unusual that our viewing area would be under a moderate risk for severity. It has been years since our viewing area has been under a moderate risk. Slight and enhanced are more common, but this is very, very serious. And you can see why. Take a look and you can see across North and South Carolina, tornado watches are in place. And you can see how this front is pushing the system into the area. As we take a closer look here at the triad, I do want to show you Alamance, the southeastern corner, southeastern corner of Randolph and Chatham County altogether have been expired from that tornado watch for now. That doesn't mean later today it won't be back, but you can see the showers are lighter for the time being. However, as the system continues to push in, the rain will get heavier. In fact, look at all of these storm reports that we've gotten throughout the day in the southeast, and you can see as those push up, certainly going to expect more of those in the triad. We had tornado warnings in effect this morning for Alamance County, Caswell County, Stokes County and Patrick County up in Virginia. All of those warnings have since expired, but again, uh, it looks like later this afternoon things will get heavy. Now, this is a live look at Greensboro and you can see the clouds really starting to build out there. So that being said, let's jump into this. Here are the primary threats that we can expect, especially into this afternoon. Between about 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. is when things are really expected to ramp up again and that rain going to get heavier. That threat of isolated tornadoes is there, but the heaviest threat are the straight line winds. These straight line winds could cause a lot of damage out there. In fact, we already had a few trees down up in Alamance County when that tornado warning was underway this morning. Hail, there's a threat for hail, pretty large size hail too there. It's a little lower than everything else as far as the threats are concerned, but it is there, so be aware. And and then obviously the flooding. We could see one to two inches of rain drop in a very short amount of time. And I wanted to break down the timeline for you as well. Take a look because obviously uh, we're in the noon hour now and the threats have stayed fairly low. There's no tornado warnings out there right now. The minute one pops up, we're going to be all over it. But right now we're, we're dealing with the watch. By about 2 p.m. Uh, to around 5 p.m., things get a little higher. And then I'd say from about 5 to 8 p.m. is when we're going to be under the biggest threat. So this is what that means. These storms that come through could produce winds anywhere from 60 to 100 miles an hour. That's what I mean when I say those straight line winds could cause a lot of damage. It's something we're going to be watching at a street level view so that you know how you'll be affected as they come in. Tornadoes are possible. Hail up to an inch in diameter and very, very heavy rain. So when you have heavy rain and then you have this damaging wind threat, that means trees could come down, power outages are possible. And you can see for our viewing area, there's a 45% chance of damaging winds, about a 10% chance that we could see a tornado. I know that sounds low and yeah, it is, but it's still a chance. So it's something we're going to be watching, especially with that watch in place until 5 p.m. for everybody. Now, the hail threat is much lower, as I mentioned. It's about a 5% chance of hail, but you know, hail can cause a lot of damage as well. So please watch where you park and where you walk today, and I would just limit time outside today if you can. Here's Futurecast, and I do want to show you that that heavier system is going to be coming through. Like I mentioned, by about 5 o'clock, you're going to see that band of rain moving through until about 7, 8 o'clock tonight, okay? And then another band is going to come in from about 9 to 11, but it's much lighter, and much of that will likely stay off to the west and be lighter than what we see out there uh, later this afternoon. Many of you probably want to know, I mentioned that moderate risk, what exactly that entails. So let me show you. You can see this moderate risk of severity is a level four on the scale of severity. So what that means is numerous severe storms are likely, winds up to 70 miles an hour or more, and you could see hail up to two inches in diameter. So it's a big deal. 78 is our high for today. And you know, the warmer it gets, the more likely it is to see those severe storms pop up. It's just the way it goes. So there you go. Showers and thunderstorms are very much likely and the winds are going to be very heavy. Over the next seven days, take a look. You know what? What's bad becomes good. And you can see that for Good Friday, I know a lot of you are off. It's a holiday. You've got a big Easter weekend ahead, but Easter Sunday's looking good, guys. We have to hold out uh, just to have a good time at church. Maybe the Easter Bunny will come, things will look up, but the big focus is today with all of these severe storms. Yeah, Kate, it was very scary to see all those storm reports yes. basically all over the region, and it's pretty much coming our way right now. It is, and, and you know, we've seen these warnings pop up in opposite ends of the counties, and then you've got trees coming down, and the thing with these warnings is you never know exactly when they're going to hit, and like I mentioned, the warmer it gets, the more likely it is that the storms will turn severe, uh, so it's something that our entire entire team has our eyes on and the minute we get a warning, if we get a warning, we're going to stay with it and keep you updated. Definitely a day to be weather aware. Thank you, Kate. And the